Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the Ladder, episode 10, our FM20. Uh, I'm sorry, my one of my kids' alarms went off on their phone, I guess. Uh, our FM20 journeyman save. Uh, so let's get you caught up to speed. Uh, let's see. First off, uh, the club. Am I, yeah, we added in under soil heating uh over the uh off season and uh we have brand new synthetic surface um and let's see so that happened so we've got under soil heating from going up uh let's see what else has been going on um this is the expectations we're in the obo obos ligan uh fight bravely against relegation Reached the second round of the Brathens Cup. We have a transfer budget of twenty-four thousand, payroll budget of sixty-five five. Current finances: we are paying uh, thirty-two thousand, about half of our payroll budget, and we spent just a little bit of our transfer budget. We signed one player that cost a little bit of money, and we had a couple of other things that took out of the budget. Um, the board injected a hundred and sixty thousand dollars and of course they took out the bank loan that we have to now start repaying uh, for the proposed uh, facility the proposed stadium right uh, where is I thought there was somewhere Ooh, we're favored personnel form uh, I wonder if I thought there was somewhere we could see like in here or something yeah, I don't know. I thought there was somewhere because I think I think I remember we're building a stadium or we're planning a stadium. That's what I seem to remember. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's look at our transfers and uh, let's look at our outgoing. I rejected that. That would be all... There we go. All right. Released players. There we go. All right. So a couple of names you may recognize. Kavarv, our backup keeper. Nielsen, a backup center back. Berger, a, a, a back line player. Uh, Ness Lund, one of our core players, but just not, not really good enough to cut it at this level, you know? Yeah, just not quite good enough. Uh, Lurvik, another guy. Uh, Kim Rune Christie, we let him go. And Newt Thorgerson just became a pimple on my ass. Uh, he's a, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's got really good finishing. But he, he literally missed like eight or nine training sessions in a row. And I think he was fined automatically for all of them. And evidently the the little thing that you do at the beginning of the season uh, to fine your players just only goes so high. And he didn't get fined on like his ninth or tenth one. And then one of my players on the team got pissed off because he wasn't fined. So I, I just ended up letting him go. Uh, I, tried, I tried to move him on, but uh, nobody was interested. And uh, yeah, just... Oh, he's got a bid on him now, those bastards. Well, Strauman, I hope he is a cancer in your locker room. Uh, so anyway, those are the guys that we released on freeze. All right, now, Jorn Skogvold, $12,000. Thank you very much. The highest by far, I think the club's highest previously was $350. <laughs> uh, I did not really want to move him, but, you know, I mean, he had a really good year for us, la uh, you know, last year. Three goals, two assists. Wasn't great, but I mean, it wasn't, wasn't horrible either. But he's gone on to Frederick Stagg for uh, 12 grand. Thank you very much. And uh, Vitor Beckenston, um, I was trying to get more for him, but he plays more of a central mid. And we've gone to that defensive mid tactic, being that we're promoted up a level 
and um ju- you know i just i like i couldn't really use him anymore uh cuz i don't think he's good enough defensively to play back and he was he was not really he was like fourth or fifth option on the right wing so i went ahead and let him go i mean he was a good player but just with the tactical change it really put a put a hole there um, I thought we had signed a guy that cost money. Must not have. Uh, so anyway, these are the new players. And a couple of them I'm really happy with. So let's look at our loanee first. Stefan Dobland, or Stephen, Stefan Dobland. We're going to go with that. Uh, he can play center back. He can play, and he can play it pretty well. He's only 5'11", but he can jump and head well. So I, th- I think he could play there. But he came in to be a defensive midfielder. And uh, we're going to play him there. He's he's a little lacking in the pace department, which is why I'd rather him be defensive mid. He can do the defensive work, but he can also pass the ball really well. So excited to get him. And that was you know a position that we were playing central mids in the de- in the defensive mid position. So I'm glad to have a couple of guys there. William Ulleberg, he is a right winger. Right midfielder, uh, three-star current ability, 20 years old. And, uh, again, he's he's got solid physicals, good first touch. He can cross the ball. He can pass the ball well. Teamwork, work rate, really liking the way he looks. Uh, Sebastian Safarth from Yerv comes in on a free. He is a backline player, primarily center back. But, uh, you know, he's, he can dribble the ball, so he could probably move out to the wings uh, if he needed to. Six in passing isn't great, but, you know, still three and a half star. He's one of the most talented players on the team. The physicals are just through the roof. So, uh, and that bravery and that center back, I think, uh, is huge. So, we'll look to see where he fits in. Um, Atlee Strom from Beroom on a free. He's a right mid, uh, very good pace, acceleration, and, you know, average across the board technicals. So we'll see how, again, a lot of these guys, I've got to see how they're going to slot in. I was just trying to get some better talent on the team, uh, to be fair. Uh, Kenneth Bilstad. Now, he was originally going to be signed to be my starting left winger. And then I signed another guy. So, but he can play right wing. Uh not the greatest. He's left footed, so he won't be great over there, but good pace, good first touch. So we signed him, and then right after he signed I had two offers out, then this guy signed. Now he could drop back to a left back if we need him to, but uh he looks like he's gonna be pretty good. Solid physicals, 12 free kick taking, 10 first touch, dribbling. Uh, 14 technique, 18 leadership. So he is actually our captain this year. And uh, our co-captain is going to be another new player coming in, another defensive mid, Jimmy Sue, or I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's Sue, Seawee, but I'm going to call him Sue, I believe. Uh, physicals are not as high, but they are average, but he's got really good first touch, good passing, good defensive skills in the marking and tackling for what we had, and then his mentals are like really, really good. So he's got good leadership, solid teamwork and work rate. So I really think we've we've put some put some work in to beefing up the back side of our of our team. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what we're gonna do now. As far as uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Competitions. All right. They want us to fight bravely against relegation. Uh, but if we look at the season preview, we are actually picked dead last to be relegated. Uh, so Troms Dalen is gonna, supposed to stay up. Flackeroy and us are supposed to go back down. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, but everything being what it is. All right, let's get into it. We are at home, slight underdogs, and I think we'll see that all season long. The 75 to 1 is actually uh, much better than it was. All right, so 
Let's just kind of go through here. So Nilsom and Neshem are our top two guys. And then we've got Stoylin off the bench. I am pretty pretty shallow there because uh, Akinola is a central defender. So I've only got one extra striker. I probably want to bring one more in. Um, Balterson on the left side. Now him and Bill Stad are, and then he's of course unhappy. Uh, Sorensen of course got unhappy because I signed these other two guys to play, and then Craddock I thought was going to leave, but then he didn't, and he's right there with Atley Strum. So I'm going to split their time. Now he's got a promise. What's the promise? Oh, ensure the player is sold. Well, you know if nobody makes an offer for you. Uh, Jimmy Sue and Stefan Dorvind, who's on loan, are going to be our two starters there. Dennis Knudsen will be off the bench. I am a little shallow there as well, so I'd like to add one more uh, defensive mid if I could. Looking at our center backs, uh, we've got uh, Safarth and Akinola. Uh, Doblin can slide back and Askness can move inside if we need to, as can Sue. Uh, Selnas will be on the outside. Uh, Balterson can also move over there. And then uh, we have Askness, and then uh, Askness is really the only other option. And then Hawkins, who we signed last year, uh, Safarth it can move over from center back. Uh, Overguards there on the right side, as is Askness as well. And then Venedick is really our only keeper. I looked for a couple of keepers. Really couldn't find anybody, so that is what it is. Uh, nobody that was going to be any better. We're, we're back up to being pretty comfortable with this tactic, uh, so let's go ahead. Um, you know, Berkland, I'm going to take him out, and I want to bring in Bilstad. Yeah, because I want him... Uh, you know what? In fact, I'm going to start Bilstead early. I want to start him on the right side. Now, Valterson, can he play? He's right-footed. Why can't he play on the right side? I think he should be able to play over there. It's the same position, and he's right-footed. Let's give it a shot. We do need some match fitness. Oh, and I forgot to show you the friendlies, but we did pretty well. Uh, all right, dressing room. All right. Uh, we know how good we are. Let's show everybody what we're capable of. I have faith in you. Always try to do this at the beginning of the season, working on the morale. All right. So Hawkins, first highlight of the season. Played out. Hawkins in. Nope. Cleared out very easily. All right. Selness closes in, controls the ball, plays it up. Haskins inside. Oh, Nesham bounces it off the keeper. Oh, we should have been up 1-0 right there. That was a nice, nice play. Balterson. Sepharth. Oh, clearance. All right, so we've had a couple of opportunities. All right, here's their first highlight, Christensen. I was getting turned down left and right by uh, players to come in on trial, uh, all kind of stuff. Um, you know, just, it was ugly. All right, that was a bad pass, and Akinola doesn't look uh, too concerned. All right. Nilsson, back to Selnes. Damn. Not good, not good. All right, Asman Seth. No, come on, guys. Oh, Erlen Soylent scores the first goal of the season against us. That's brutal. All right, come on. Get creative. Sepharth. 
All right, he punches it long. Sue puts it through the channel. Nilsson. Oh, he bounces it off the keeper, gets the rebound, and he scores our first goal of the season. The returning leading score from last year. Nice job by him to stay after the ball. And seven minutes in, we're even at one. Let's give him a little bit of praise on that one, I think. Oh, they're overwhelmed. All right, six to six on shots. We've got four chances to none created. Uh, show some passion. They're uninterested. Nothing? Nothing at all. All right. That gets us, that's a good first half of our first game. We've got a couple of yellow cards to deal with. All right. How is, uh, let's see, Billstad's playing a 6 4. Valterson's playing a 6 7 on the other side. All right. Come on, boys. Oh, big crossover to the left side of the pitch. And a long shot from Christensen. His first goal of the season, right at the far post. Just put it inside. Wow. I don't know. That's, oh, that's rough. That's rough. Push forward. All right, another. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Good. Oh, the defense let me down there. Uh, Hawkins dr jumps on it. He lumps it deep. Nilsson, look at the control, and he beats his man. Oh, so close, so close. All right, let's see. Um, all right, Bill Stad. I think I want to... All right, I'm going to swap you with Valterson, and then I'm going to take you off for Craddock. Actually, I'm going to take you off and put on uh, Uleberg. Because I think Uleberg will be my backup if Craddock leaves. All right. Akinola. Axon is. Eh, God. Oh, Dennis Knutson. So I can bring. Hitting. Marking or Dovland, which one? Which one? Heading, marking. I'm going to bring Dovland back for Akinola. And then we will bring on Knutson into that defensive mid. All right. So, you know, I tried to make sure I was signing players that could play multiple positions. Demand more. They're focused. Four to two on chances. Mid left, mid left. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring Craddock on for the for for the end here. All right, Sephardt plays it deep, headed back. Hawkins gets with the ball. Over to Sue. Craddock on a run. Good job. He cuts it inside, and he takes a shot. Oh, Otterson at the near post. Oh, I thought we had a chance. All right, three extra minutes. We're already attacking. No other highlights. 17 to 12, 4 to 2 on chances. 
I don't think we got outplayed badly at all. Um, so yes, I will sympathize with the team. You know, I mean, that is what it is. We're not going to win them all, but we were competitive. Now, here's the thing. We were, who did we play here? Adrenal, right? Competitions. All right, so they're now fifth. If we look at the season preview, so they're supposed to be near the bottom of the table. Uh, so that's the type of club we're going to have to be getting wins against if we want to try to stay up, right? Three teams go down, two teams go up, four teams go the playoffs. All right, well, uh, I guess we've got enough time for another game. So let's get back for it and we'll play, uh, oh, this is a good matchup against uh, Fleckeroy they came up with us last season so they should be in about the same boat as we are so we'll see you guys back here in a second all right we are back i came back a little early we're at uh, tr transfer deadline we've made a couple of moves uh we've sold 213 season tickets which is about 40 to 50 more and let's see um yeah, I don't have any interest in selling. Uh, we've gotten a lot of uh, uh, inquiries about Nesham, but uh, I put a $10,000 minimum uh, bid, uh, requirement for him. So nobody's, nobody's, everybody's wanted freeze, and I'm not going to let him go on a free. So kiss my ass. Um, But we're just trying to get up to the game here with the transfer deadline on us at the same time. All right, here we go. All right, so let's check on these last couple of transfers uh, because uh, they may actually be playing. So we brought in uh, four more people, uh, Magnus and a lot of a couple of these guys, I don't even know what they look like. I couldn't get them scouted in time, and they wouldn't come on on trial. But we got them in, and we needed depth. So by God, they're in the squad. Magnus Fritzi Ostman uh, is a striker up top and a number ten. Uh, really good physicals, good uh, solid finishing, first touch. So I think he could do the job. He's got two goals and two cup appearances for his old old team. So uh, he is with us. Um, actually, it's got him with the... Hmm, let me see here. Okay, we'll let him go to the U19s. So he'll be down there if we need him. Uh, Epson Malm. Comes to us on loan from Oslo. He's going to be our uh, uh, striker for us. Uh, probably reserve, I would think. He might have a little bit better finishing than Nesham, so Nesham may end up going to the bench. I like his determination. Yeah, I don't know. He may end up being uh, number two behind Nilsson, uh, but either he or Nesham will be on the bench. Uh, then we've got on loan uh, Heine Dinnerson. He is a, a defensive mid, so that gives us a little bit of depth there, thankfully. He won't start, but some, some decent depth. And Johan Line Stormer uh, is our new reserve keeper. I don't know. Can he replace Venedict? Now, nah, Venedict's got the much better shot stopping, although everything else is kind of on this guy's uh, advantage but i brought him in for depth because our our backup keeper was was a uh, very inexperienced so anyway we've got uh three players you know one you know that are going to be either a starter or you know backup options uh we are on the road slight underdogs we're going to keep going with our underdog rotation all right, Ulleberg on the right, Walterson on the left, Nielsen and Nesham up top. 
uh, pretty much the same uh, same rotation there. Oh, and our our keeper is uh, I guess the, the new guys are in transit. They haven't gotten here today yet, which is fair. Looks like we're playing pretty much the same tactic. Encourage the team and play. Play some foosballs. Football is the devil. Haberstad. Good ball out to Optobro. Oh, look at the pace. Benedict, easy, easy grab. All right, he lumps it. Some quick one-touch passing. Oh, nice, nice little lay down. Suey up into the deep right. Ah, come on, boys. Oh, my right back just got toasted. Oh, what a tackle by Ask. No, oh, no, no. They're going to call a penalty? No, oh, he was off sides. That was a hell of If you didn't see that, go back to that. What a tackle by asking us to get in front of that ball. It would have been it would have been no goal. All right, Doblin, Sue, a deep run. No. Let it go. Let it go. You were offsides. Yep. Come on, Olaberg. You knew you were offsides. All right, lumped in. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at Nilsson. He has got stellar first touch. And poor finishing. <laughs> Shh, I didn't say that because he led the club in goals last year. Pretty evenly matched so far. Yeah, when they, you play it back to the keeper, make sure you hit it with enough pace to get to him, but not so much pace that it goes past him. They've got a they've got a troubling habit of of laying off easy passes to the keeper and oh frivold. Oh good save by Benedict to punch it over the goal. All right, corner. Come on, boys. I really think we're a little more solid defensively this year. Oh, my God. That was an all-world save. Holy hell. Man. Man. That was crazy what a save that was. All right, the center backs kept Vesterfiel on, on sides. Off to Bro, off the wood. Oh, no, these are the worst, worst set pieces. Come on, boys. Stay solid, stay solid. Over the top. Roland turns on it. No, oh, no, just wide. <sighs> close, close. Lumped in, headed out. Nesham. Oh, nice ball deep to Nilsson. Cut it inside, cut it inside. Oh, he gets into the box, beats the keeper. Second goal of the season, and we're up 1-0. Oh, what a ball by Nesham. That was a stellar partnership there. Wow. 41st minute. Don't let them get it back. Cleared out. Good job. Up to the midfield line. Brought back in. Come on, boys. Solid defense so far. That was not so good. I think Benedict got a hand on that. Good save. Another good save by Benedict. Cleared out. 
Really, Benedict's only shortcoming is one on ones. I wish his was, you know, he's got, you know, about half of what I'd like it to be. All right. Uh, encourage the team. You avoid a yellow. All right. Benedict with a quick save. I'm going to drop back to positive. All right. Head it out. Oh, off the woodwork. Cleared out. Nelson gets there. Oh, he turns the corner. The Jets are on. Makes the attack. Lays it off to Rolland. Oh, Rolland is tripped at the edge of the box. That's going to give us a set piece. Remember, last season we were dangerous on set pieces. Ah, not that time, though. Come on. That's praise. No, you just let the ball go right past you. Benedict with another save. Holy cow. Headed out. Cleared by Ulleberg. Out of bounds up at the midfield line. Oh, they gave it away. There's the ball. Nilsson ran at an angle to come back on sides, and he just misses the goal. Oh, that was a brilliant, brilliant attempt. All right, Benedict plays it up. There's a header. Skied out to the right. Good ball up to Olaberg. Into Dovland. Dovland over the top. Nilsson on another attack. Oh, he put it with power. Goes wide. Mmm. Mmm. All right, Valterson. Mid left. Let's bring Olsen over there. Ulberg's nervous. Let's bring Craddock on. Actually, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Atley on. My boy Atley. Over the top. Nilsson makes the run. Oh, the chest. Fin oh, he tried to slot it home. He tr well, at least he tried something different. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, low into the box, doesn't get anywhere. Come on, boys. Oh, another save by Venedict. Offsides, it looked like. I got a little bit of lag going on there. All right, headed out. Rogney gets to it. Defense pushes out. Yergard, Yegergard, something like that. All right, Nesham, Nilsson, Nilsson with space. Nobody's running with him. He shoots from range. That's an easy save for Haverstad. Come on. Push forward. He won offsides, no. He looked well beyond my back line there. Oh, uh, looks like looks like Askin has kept him on sides. Ah, that's brutal. All right, we're gonna go back up to uh, attacking here. All right. Oh, Nesham. Through ball. Make it count. Oh, across the keeper. Get in there, Christian Nielsen. All right, we're going back to positive. 2-1. Exciting game. Very evenly matched, which it should be. I mean, they came up with us last year. 
Oh, he just nice save by Benedict. He is he has saved this game for us. Oh, good job by oh Suey over the top. Nesham Nesham's got a shot. Oh, deflected away. Sets up a corner. All right, come on, boys. And I still think we're going to need a couple of couple of matches to, you know, kind of pull things together. All right, Dobland, back to Askness. All right, we don't get a shot off there. Into the box. Oh, no. All right. Hawkins. See if we can make a time-wasting late sub. All right, Akinola. Oh, over the top. Olsvik into the box. Knocked away. <laughs> Benedict, he's got to win man of the match. He has got to win man of the match. He's playing a freaking 7.6. That's got to be the highest rating I have ever seen for a keeper. What's the highest rating you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments. But that, that's been a hell of a game. I think he's got to win it. All right, Rollin controls it. Oh, Olsen's not even looking for the ball. And that could be a sending off. Mm, okay, I don't know what happened right there, but we win. <laughs> I don't know if they got to take the kick. I don't know if he got carded. I have no idea. But we win. Three points. Passionate. A nice victory. Well done. All right, we've got a little bit of time left. So we have three points. That that does us a world of good. I am happy with that. Strom makes his debut. Nilsson inspires with two goals. Of course he did. How many did he have last year? It was a club record. 12, well, 12 and 25. 12 and 24 league matches. Seemed like more. Uh, all right. Well, we've got a couple more hours of transfer business. Uh, don't think there's anything else that I'm going to be doing. And uh, so where do we come back? Let's go ahead and play. We'll have the cup for, let's see, what's our cup expectations? Reach the second round minimum. Yeah, we'll play that. Let's come back against Kongsvinger and Song, Songdal. I hope those are even remotely close. Uh, they are currently 3rd and 13th, and we will see how we do against them. Guys, hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Oh, by the way, there's the friendlies. Uh, so there you go. And if you want to see the goal scorers, there you go as well. Uh, Nilsson. A couple of these guys were trial players we brought in. Kloster, I thought about signing. Just didn't think he was good enough. There's Atlee Strom with a goal. Craddock. This game was funny. All three of our goals were on penal penalties. So that was interesting. All right, guys. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.